Hello and welcome to this Minecraft tutorial with me, Groover. Now today I have for you a tutorial on how to change your basic player geometry. That's right, so what you're seeing here is basically... Um, yeah, I, I changed the size of the head on the um, player geometry here. So what's that mean? It means that pretty much I've got a big head. But it doesn't change my hitbox, which is kind of handy. I also have a very small skin. So I've got a big skin, a small skin. I can basically change this however I want. And today I'm going to show you how that actually works. This basically changes nothing about the gameplay. The game will run exactly the same as it was. You just have a smaller looking skin. And if you log on to a server with your friends, they are going to see the small skin as well, which is kind of cool. Or the big skin or whatever kind of skin you want on there. So if you were interested in making yourself smaller than a sunflower, then hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, hang in for the rest of the video, and the most important bit is of course at the end. So let's go. So to start off with, you are going to need to download the various things I've put down in the description. So the first one that we've got is Groover's Geopack. I've got it here as a backup because I'm making the tutorial, if something goes wrong I can just copy and paste, job done. So this is what you want to download, and this has got all of your basic files in, we'll have a look at those in a moment. We also want to download Blockbench, and you can do this on the web browser version, but I like using the local version, just for no particular reason other than it's here and I've got it. And finally, you're going to need to download IOBit Unlocker. I think there's a new version out now, but it doesn't matter. You need all three of these things, download them, get them ready. Now, if you're reaching for that comment section and saying, how do I download and install this? Um, then you need to stop right there. This tutorial is not for you, it is over your head. You need to find a smart friend to watch the tutorial and help you with it because we're going to get slightly technical here and it's not going to be straightforward. Uh, well, it will be straightforward to a degree, but if you're having trouble installing these programs, you, you just need to walk away from this, I'm afraid. Okay, so we're going to open up the Groover Geopack. So you're going to need to download it, unpack it, put it somewhere where you know where it is and um, have a look at it. And we're going to have a quick look at it now. So in the Groover Geopack, We've got two folders. You've got Persona and Persona A Rig. The Persona A Rig is like the backup folder. If something goes really wrong, this is one that we paste in to overwrite everything and just take you back to square one. And Persona is one that we're going to be working in today. So if we go into there, you can see that it's very similar to a normal skin pack. If you've made skin packs before, this is kind of what it is. So instead of just having the basics, which would be the, um, the actual template, the map, the skin map, and the manifest file and the skins, it's also got a geometry file. And geometry actually tells the game how it's going to format your skin into a net, as it were, okay? So let's have a quick look at these. We'll come to the geometry last, and we'll start off with the one which you need to ignore the most and work upwards. So, manifest. Ignore this completely, do not touch it, leave it well alone. Next, skins. So the skins is basically telling the game how to pull the things together. So it's got various resources. So one of the skins is going to be called Geo1. This can be called anything that you want. Geo2 can be called anything you like. And Geo3 can be called anything you like. And these are just names. The localization name is just a name. Don't worry about what you put in there. You could just leave it as it is. It doesn't matter. Geometry. So this is where it's actually going to be pulling the particular geometry from. Now confusingly, I've named these the same thing, but um, they don't have to be the same thing. So geometry.geo1, we'll have a look at it in a moment, but that is the geometry that is pulling from the geometry file and applying to this texture. So this texture map is the one which is in there, it's my skin, you can have a play with it if you like, I don't mind. Um, so this is just kind of pulling these things together, it's going to get the geometry file, it's going to apply the texture to the geometry. If we had capes then we'd be looking at this, but I'm not going to look at capes. I know capes are very, um, a very big thing, but um, I haven't looked at that properly yet. We will, pretty soon. And then type, just leave that as free. Now if you want to add more skins to this, it's very simple. You just copy like that, including the first comma, copy with your control C and you go down to the last one and you go like that, control V, and then give it a new name. And if you want to reuse one of the geo files, you can. So that's not a problem. You can have, you can use the same geometry on all of these or different geometries, whatever you want. And just give it a different name, different 
texture file if you wish. That's it. As long as you've got that comma and you copy and paste it down, you're fine. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that and get rid of that last comma to make sure that it all works. This bit at the end, do not touch, don't worry about it, it's fine. So I'm just going to save that and then close out of it. We've got my actual texture map here, which we'll have a look at in a bit. Um, but we'll look at that in Blockbench because it'll be easier to see. And then we've got the geometry file itself. Now the geometry file has basically got the header up here telling the game about what format version it is and then we've actually got the geometry itself so geometry.go1 is the geometry which we pulled in from the skins section if you define it as go1 geometry go1 and then same down here we've got geometry go2 and go3 now like the skins if you wanted to have more than just three geometries dead easy you just copy paste and then we'll adapt them in a moment in Blockbench. But I've given you three to get started with so that you can kind of just get things up and working. Okay, now that we've had a look at those files that you've downloaded, the um, pack itself, we're going to have a look at Blockbench. And um, this is the downloaded version of Blockbench. I really like it. I've been getting very much into it recently. It's great fun. Um, but we're just gonna do the basics just to show you an idea of what can be done with this. Open the door kind of thing. And you can let yourself in. So we're going to click on open model and then we're going to go and find that location where you placed the geo persona so this one persona and then we're going to find the geometry.json for that and open it now blockbench knows what it's doing it's looked in that file it's found that it's got three different geometry files i'm going to go for geometry one and we're going to import that so straight away you can see this basic controls is you've got your middle click which doesn't helps you Oh, the middle zoom or the middle wheel zoom in and out we've got right click which drags it around and then left click which helps you rotate around the center pivot or well around the feet really over on the right here we've got the various parts of this geometry file and then over here on the left you can see where the textures are mapping to so we're going to import a texture. I'm going to keep it simple. We're going to import my skin. Right, so looking kind of good there, looking as I'd expect. You can see that each part of the geometry file is linked back to a part of the template on the left. So if I click on the head, it's going to pick up these parts here. Left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, blah, blah, blah. And you've got two layers. You've got the actual leg, which is inside the pants or the well one minute the legging and the pants what's the difference between legging and pants that doesn't seem to be doing anything but anyway the right pants is the over layer and sort of the the right leg is the under layer and you can, can see that up there how it's working and where it's pulling things from so up on the top here if i click on the head you can see all of these options up under elements and you've got where the head is going to be so you can have it offset, you can make it in your chest, you can do all sorts of things with this, very very simply. You can make it bigger, very very easy to make it bigger and then move it on up. Just like that, very very simple to give yourself an extremely big head and you can make the head extremely small by making it a negative number and moving that down, okay? So you get the basic idea there, very simple stuff. Now, one thing that is worth noting is where things pivot from. So if I pick the right arm, which is weirdly the one on my left, but it's, it's Groover's right arm, um, it'll give you all of the options. If I click up here on the rotate, it'll show you where it is rotating from. And that is sort of just a little bit in and below. You can see that little crosshair there. That's just in the shoulder there. Now, if you felt so inclined, you can move the pivot point down like that, okay? Now, then you'll get the idea of how this is gonna work because it's gonna pivot from the hand rather than from the shoulder. And you can make the game do some very weird things if you're so inclined. But we're not really here for that. We're just here to do some basic things. So that was at 22. That should now pivot where it's meant to do. All perfect. I'm gonna put that back to zero because whatever the rotation values are, in the bottom here 
are the values which the game will automatically think are your default position. If you wanted, you could turn yourself into a zombie. Oop, no, not like that, like this. And that would be default. But then your arms would swing from there, which would be kind of weird, but anyway. Right, finally, we're just gonna show you a couple more things that you can do to um, have a little bit of fun, let's say. So I'm gonna open up the right arm there and I'm going to say add cube. So by adding a cube, I'm adding a new piece to this model. And because I've placed it inside the right arm, it's going to inherit everything from the right arm itself. So if we have a look at the cube there, we can see up on the map in the top left hand corner, that is what it's mapping to. I'm going to just pump this up to eight blocks to make it the same size as a player head. Okay, and I'm going to deflate it by one. Okay, there it is, sat on my shoulder. You can use these bars to move things around if you so wish. Pretty simple stuff. So that's one way to add an extra item there. You can also add um, an extra item by copying and pasting it. So if I say I want an extra hat, so I'm going to duplicate the hat and I'm going to move it down onto the sleeve. Okay, so within there, I can then grab that hat and move it across and fit it to this little head by making it a little bit smaller. Okay, so now I've got a shoulder on my head that should all be attached. So the way the right sleeve moves is a way that the hat's going to move. And very similarly, the way that the right arm moves is the way that this new cube is going to move. Just to even things up, I'm gonna quickly add another head on the other side. So I'm going to grab those two, I'm gonna duplicate them, and then I'm going to drop them into the left arm. So from the left arm, I should now have a hat. A hat I can attach to the sleeve and the new head I can attach to the arm. There we go. And then all I can need to do is move it across, pop it down, deflate it a little bit, have a quick look at it, see how it looks. Looks weird, but okay. Yeah, that's the right place. And then we're gonna have a quick look at the hat itself. So we're going to deflate that. We're gonna move it across and down. So there we go. Ooh. Looks like I moved both hats, but that's not a big deal. It can always be moved back. And then that can be moved down like that. Does that make sense? So this one can come back over, get moved back up, get reinflated. Uh, so we'll go down by one. There we go. That's what I mean. So that is all set up now. Basically, I'm a walking wither. Right, now let's get this into the game. So the first thing to do is actually save your changes. So I'm going to go to save model. You can just do control S in the old fashioned usual way. Just gonna tidy all this lot up. Um, and that's it. So that's actually updated the file that we have, that we downloaded. And it's changed the geometries to include all of this. At this point, it's worth having a quick look in here because you might want to change your skin out and you might need to change the JSON files to work with what you've just changed there. So the new geometry will be applied to whatever model it is or whatever skin it is that you've got here, okay? So all three of these are using the same skin. You can apply ge geometry one to both of those, to all three of them, whatever you want. Not a problem. Different skin files, totally up to you. And of course, if you want to change the Pung there to your own skin, to whatever skin you want, go for it, no problem. Just change it and make sure that that name is what appears here in the skins part. Right, finally we're going to go over to the final step, which is we're going to click on IO Bit Unlocker, okay? And we're going to click on Add. Now, you're going to have to find the particular folder where the persona is stored and it's going to be on the screen right now. I'm going to leave that on the screen. I'm doing things slightly differently because I've got a slightly different setup. I'm using version switcher, so things are in a different place. If you want to know where things are on the version switcher, this is where they are. You go into the C or wherever you've got your switcher. You go into there, you go into your versions, and you go into the version that you want to change. Then you go to data and you find your skin packs. Okay? 
and there we're going to click on Persona. This is obviously a skin pack which I showed you at the beginning of the tutorial, and I'm going to click OK on there. Now we've got these options up, and I'm going to click on that and go Unlock and Delete. Yes, I do want to delete that. Done. Next, I'm going to go back to this folder. I'm going to go up a level, and I'm going to get this one, which is the one which we've just worked on. We've just edit edited the geometries in there. I'm going to drag it on top of there straight away. Now we've got it in there. I need to click on the down button, unlock and copy, and then we need to find that folder where we were before. Again, it's on the screen for anybody who's using the version switcher. This is the direction that you'd go into. You'd go to your versions. You go to the particular version that you want, data, skin packs. Okay, as you can see, we just deleted the persona that was in there and we are going to apply this new persona. Okay, done. Now you can load up the game. So the first thing you'll probably notice is that your skin is not showing right here. You have to go into the profile and we're going to click on the little thing there. Oh, and there it is. Check it out. Look at it. What, what loveliness. Now, if I'd nested these heads under the same category as the head, then it would probably move, they'd probably all move in time with, with that one, which would be kind of weird. But anyway, we're going to say equip, go back, and then you get this reload button. Click on reload, and it's in. And then we can basically go and play the game. <laughs> oh man, the, the, the hat isn't sitting right. It's not following properly. I must have done something a little bit weird on that side on the right hand side but anyway that gives you an idea of how easy it is to change your geometries and change how they present it looks like i've got two hats on that one let's say that this is not what you want <laughs> so dumb i love it um and you want to revert back to how things were before this update before you changed everything so that's really easy and that's why i've added the persona a rig file which is the original persona file which would have been in that location so let's cut back out of here and we're going to open up um, the folder which you downloaded with the persona files in okay first thing you're going to do is you're going to rename both of these and you're going to do you can rename them to whatever you like as long as you know as long as you know what it is that you're looking at and which is which so I've renamed the original Persona file to be just Persona. And if you look in here, it's got very little in it. These are very, very basic kind of things. It's more like a redirection um, in the game. So once you've got that going, you can click on the bit unlocker. We're going to do very similar to what we did before. And we're going to find that file, which we're in, which should be on the screen once again now. And we're going to go to data and skin packs and then we're going to click on persona as you can see this is one that we just put in there i'm going to click ok and then unlock and delete done and then i'm going to pull this one back up drag in the persona file again drop it straight on there we're going to do unlock and copy and then we're going to navigate again back to that location And this is what it should look like. We've just deleted the file that was in there. Click OK. Done. And then when you go back into Minecraft. There we go. There's Steve. Yeah, I know. I know. Lots of stuff broken. And then when you look in here, you just have your standard skin packs. It's totally fine. Right, and there you go. That is how to change your your um, custom geometries and put them in game so that you can be whatever shape that you like you can have three heads five heads whatever you like there are limitations on the size like um, how big you can be and how small you can be in various things but you know go away have fun okay and that is it and i hope that you enjoy this of course if you did please do leave a like if you want to see some more drop me a subscribe and i hope to see you again soon goodbye